All right, let's get started. The month of May in Indiana is dedicated to the Indy 500. Um, I got some pretty cool news I'd like to share, and here's a little bit of backstory. So the JW Hotel puts a graphic on the windows each year. Um, in 2016, I think it was their first year, they did a photo contest. Uh, I just so happened to win that photo contest, and so each year since, it's kind of been a little bit of a challenge to make to make a new interesting photo of it. And so this weekend I wanted to go do that. Uh, I was in town for the American Ninja Warrior filming. Um, Visit Indy invited a few creators out to kind of take some pictures and help promote the, uh, promote the filming a little bit. Um, but I was there for that. The day before though, I went to take that picture of the JW. Um, I tweeted it out, Facebooked it, Instagrammed it, whatever, um, just like I normally do. And on Sunday morning, I woke up to a pretty cool, a pretty cool Twitter notification. So, I, you know, scrubbed my eyes, I opened my phone, and oh man, there was a tweet from Doug Bowles, who is the president of IMS, and he shared some pretty kind words of encouragement about uh, about my photo and about my my talent as a photographer. And that was that blew me away. Um, it still does. At looking at it. Um, so that was pretty cool. But in 2016, I got to be kind of Schmidt Peterson Motorsports official photographer. And one of their drivers, James Hinchcliffe, he won the pole that year. So uh, that was just incredible timing on, on everything because I got to, to be his, you know, photographer for when he won the pole. Um, that was insane. Hey, uh, are you going to get to the news today? Uh, yeah, I'm getting to it. I'm getting to it. All right. We're getting bored over here. All right. All right. So the point is, I get to be an independent creator, and that means I get to go do rockets and landscapes and weddings and graduations here and there. Um, I get to go do uh, these varying amount of things, but I think that also makes it the most challenging part of it because you kind of have to go and make a name for yourself. You don't get to, uh, you know, rely on the Getty or the AP or the Reuters. And, you know, as you, can, you can't really fall back on that as your your recognition. You kind of have to make your own. You kind of have to make your own recognition. So I didn't just leave Doug's tweet at that. I I went in the online and I looked for his email, and I said, Hey Doug, you know, I've shot the race the past couple years. Um, I got this thing called Patreon. These people help me do what I do. Uh, and I really want to be at the race, you know, in 50 years because I frequent the launches in Cape Canaveral and there's guys that have been there since Apollo. Um, so to be kind of mentor to the younger photographers like me one day that are trying to shoot the race or the, or the launches, I think that'd be really cool. And the next morning he said, Hey, let me talk to our team, see what we can do. And then two hours later it was talk to this guy in PR. And then later that afternoon, I'm now happy to share that I'm going to be an accredited photographer at the uh, 102nd running, uh, this 2018 race of the Indy 500. So it's pretty, pretty exciting. I'm, uh, I got a lot to be thankful for, and um, I'm really excited to photograph the race. I wanted to give a special shout out to the people who are supporting me right now on Patreon. If you want to do that, you can click right up here. Um, they help me do what I do. They let me, you know, they help me explore kind of what I kind of see what they want to do and what they want to see. Um, but I also get to kind of pursue what I want to do. It's it's a kind of mix of two awesome awesome worlds. Um, so if you want to hop on that, um, join in over here. And if not, thanks for watching. I'll see you next time. <laughs>